And we are back at it again with Adam22 from the Go Hump Her podcast. Actually insane to think that Adam would have to call out Jason Love for everything that he said regarding the entire situation. Who would have honestly thought that Adam would have been disrespected in such a way? I didn't see this happening. Not for a second. No, sir, I did not. Because guess what? It's not like if you let your woman get with another guy, she's going to respect you and you can't even earn the respect of your wife. What made Adam think he was going to earn the respect of anyone else, no less from the guy that fucking annihilated his wife for some money at his wife's request? All right, take a look at the video. I guess we're uh, doing this today. Hey, Jason Love, I trusted you to pork my wife. And it seems like that clout is getting to your head. You're talking real, real spicy and I ain't really feeling it. Number one, the angle of the dangle is more important than the cubic of the pubic. That's number one. Number two, my D game, when I'm serving it, man, it's just like your mom's home cooking because there's a special ingredient. It's called love. You ever heard of it? Number three, don't make me expose you. And you know what I'm talking about. It can get real, real messy out here. Number four, you don't want problems moving around in these LA streets, because I can make that happen. I'm very, very well connected. And number five, you are officially blacklisted from smashing my wife again. Show some respect. Adam, you do realize that there is nothing, and I mean nothing you can say about letting this guy do this to your wife. There's literally no comeback at all. It's just kind of cringe because he's trying to come off intimidating so he doesn't look like a bitch online. I get it, but it just seems like he wants a problem, but he doesn't really want a problem. And I just find it funny because I thought the whole entire situation between this guy and Adam's wife was supposed to be professional. So I don't know why Adam's even trying to get upset because obviously... You wanted him to destroy your wife for a reason. He's in the corn industry. What more needs to be said? Uh, He does this for a fucking living. Adam really just took that entire comment personal when he really shouldn't because after all, this is kind of what you signed up for. He said he didn't really care about whatever anyone was going to say on the internet and then we take this whole entire situation. Like I can understand why Adam is getting upset because I guess the guy could have said, who knows, or I don't know, but I doubt anyone would say that in that situation. I just really don't know what Adam was expecting, all right? (sighs) And then Adam just sitting there trying to spit some bars on the track for us. The, The cubic on the pubic, all right? If that isn't a banger, I don't know what is. Like I told you in my last video, this guy is my favorite rapper. Featured alongside Little Pimp, bro. That you don't know. You do not know what kind of mixtape they have on the grill in the back. They're cooking. And they might be making Adam's wife some hot dogs, all right? I, I, I can't stop cringing. I'm sorry. I just really cannot stop cringing. Special ingredient to when I'm serving it up with my wife. It's called love. She didn't need love to start biting those bed sheets now, did she? <laughs> this is down bad. If anything, maybe we should let his wife be the judge. You know, I think that would help everyone come and find a common ground. You could really tell Adam was, he was hurt over what this guy said in the interview because he wants to expose him. He's threatening to expose the guy who destroyed his wife. I can't. This hurts to watch. I'm not even going to hold you. You're officially blacklisted from smashing my wife ever again. Like, this is a threat. He already did it. It's too late. There is nothing you can do. The show some respect at the end is what really gets me. How do you expect anyone to show you respect when you just throw your wife to the dogs? I will, I don't respect that. I doubt anyone else will. Any amount of respect you could have gotten or even had was annihilated the minute you let this happen. It doesn't take a genius to see that. Like, if you, you think anyone that's going to get clowned on online on a daily basis deserves respect you gotta be out of your mind that's just the angle of the dangle in adam's terms do you think that you her better than adam did well obviously yes (laughs) 
but I'm pretty sure it probably felt different with Adam for her because love is involved emotions. But as for the physical aspect of getting, obviously. You know, I'm really questioning whether or not Adam even saw this interview because he said he smashed Adam's wife better in a physical sense rather than an emotional one. So it's kind of awkward looking back at this video and just seeing Adam going like, it's called love. You ever heard of it? When he literally brought that up in the interview, like, did Adam even bother seeing what the fuck he actually said versus just seeing an article and then throwing out a panic TikTok? But then again, like, the guy even says that he would fuck Tom Brady's wife better than Tom Brady. I don't know why Adam would feel so attacked when he said literally the same thing about Tom Brady. And it's like... This is coming from the mouth of a guy who does corn professionally. What the f That's like the interviewer asking Messi, uh, do you think Adam22 can uh, shoot a free kick as good as you? What do you think he's going to say? Obviously, he's going to say, no, he's not going to shoot a free kick as good as me because he doesn't play soccer. Obviously, Adam has smashed plenty of women, but just follow the common sense here. I don't know how to feel about Adam memeing his wife just getting totaled, but I'm glad this isn't me, man. I am glad I am who I am, and I'm glad I wouldn't stand for any of this happening. It's just, was the money worth it? Well, I, I hope it was worth it, especially when you already have so much money. It just makes no sense to me. Like, what are you trying to do? Like, yeah, the No Jumper brand is becoming more successful your wife's career is also inflating, but what is that inflation? Like, what, what can you take all of this money to, man? Like, where? Once, once you die, once you pass, who's taking that shit? I get it. You have a lot of equity that you can give to your daughter one day, but ugh, that's even if that is a part of the plan. Like, everyone is going to know that your daughter's dad is a cuck. And her mom got railed by a six foot black guy. It's just crazy how no one is really thinking this far ahead. And it's insane. Like, I, I get it. You're not supposed to stress over the future and what could be. You're supposed to focus on what you can make of things. You know, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade or go murder a fucking clown. This isn't the first time I've witnessed Adam take like a huge sacrifice for the sake of his money and the no jumper brand. You already know he lost a host for making fun and making content out of his friend and co-host house phone ending up sleeping with a trans woman. I had to unearth this zombie because honestly, you just see Adam throw a lot of friendships and relationships away for the sake of content. And it's kind of sad. I'm not even going to hold you. It is really kind of sad to look at, especially with the fact that it's like, hey, you're just going to ruin having a friendship with you know, house phone here, just so you can make a couple of trends and make the podcast more interesting, make the brand keep selling. And then it comes to his wife. Oh, uh, you know, my wife ended up sleeping with another man, but hey, uh, my brand is going up. Her brand is going up. Our careers are in a good limelight right now, but it's just like this big ass trend, this, this mountain, this slope, it still eventually falls. And it's like, you know, once the slope falls and you think back to it, it's like, you're going to think, was it really worth it? And then it's just going to come to a point where we think, well, damn, I wish I didn't do this. And then I just see comments from Adam's wife like, you're going to have to respect my man if you're going to annihilate me. I'm actually doubting that she even respects Adam at this point because it's just the tweets. It's just, it says a lot to me at least. Like, why, why is this so funny? Like, they, they him and his wife just continue to play and make jokes out of this situation. What is the underlying feeling that they both have? Like, how do you go through a situation like this and then eat cereal at the breakfast table and look your wife in the face and you're just thinking, damn, I just let this guy who doesn't respect me turn my wife into a toaster strudel. What do you do? What do you do? And it's just like, it, like we don't even know whether or not she liked what Jason Love did to her more than Adam. 
that's like another aspect of things that no one's even going to really know the truth of. God forbid her honesty kills that damn marriage. But with that being said, I hope, you know, this is worth it for the No Jumper podcast. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. Really because this entire situation just still has me speechless.